Now with new developments in the fight against the flu, at least 84 children have died from it this season. Now scientists are searching for a universal vaccine. ABC's David Curley got exclusive access to the NIH headquarters in Bethesda, Maryland, and has much more on all this. Good morning, David. Good morning, Robin. You know, NIH is one of the country's premier research hospitals, and this team is in the middle of a study which could lead to that universal vaccine, one you wouldn't need every year. And we were here and watched as they purposely infected volunteers with the flu. That's great, that's fine. In one of the worst flu seasons ever, we've picked up the H1N1 influenza virus. Dr. Matt Memoli is preparing to infect three perfectly healthy people with the flu virus, including recent college grad, Emily Lal too. You're hoping to solve it down the road that you don't get the flu. Exactly, for myself and then for young children. NIH, using its special studies unit where it treated Ebola patients, pays study participants $3,500 to get the flu and be quarantined for at least 10 days. What are you helping the researchers accomplish? Well, it may sound crazy, but hopefully on one day we have some, you know, stronger medication or just hopefully a cure. So you're going to need to wear a mask and gloves. Okay. What this research team is trying to learn is how to attack influenza. And this is it. This is actually this the is virus. This is it. The doses of virus are here in this bag. For the patients, a nasal spray. I'm going to give you a spray in each nostril. Containing the virus. And number four. Which caused the 2009 pandemic. The last one. 24 hours later, Emily is feeling sick. I had a little bit of an itchy throat last night. Okay. Some patients getting a drug containing a new antibody to see if it can prevent them from getting even sicker. But at the same time, we're also trying to learn about what parts of the immune system are needed to protect people against flu in order to make a better universal vaccine. A universal vaccine, the holy grail. Each year, the flu virus changes a bit, but some parts of the virus stay the same. If researchers find a way to attack that part, they could make a universal vaccine, which you wouldn't need every year. What has this flu season taught us? Well, this flu season has taught us that with regard to vaccines, we need to do better. Emily and Marcus are trying to help this morning by fighting the flu for science. And they are monitoring Emily and Marcus. Uh, that's part of the test. They actually have cameras in the room so they can see how they're feeling. There is progress being made on a vaccine, Robin. A universal vaccine, they say, could be 10 or 15 years away, mm. but that means only one shot or even maybe something else. Mm. And I understand that an old treatment is also making a comeback. Yeah, I was kind of hinting at that something uh -huh. else. You remember we were the parents, instead of getting the shot for their children, like that nasal spray a couple of years ago, they didn't think it was working properly. Well, the drug maker has now improved it. They say they have the recommendation back and we will probably see the nasal sprays back next year as we continue this annual flu until we get to the universal vaccine. Until we get there. And I know a lot of parents are saying, yes, <laughs> so much easier with the nasal spray as long as it is effective. And it does seem mm -hmm. that that is the case now. All right. You, you, you didn't want to be infected with the flu. Uh, you want to report on it, but you don't want to actually be a participant. You got it. Yeah, I exactly. got it. <laughs> wise it. man, wise man. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.